Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shannon and I go over delicious food, vegan reviews, and holistic living over 40. Well, as you could tell, I was hungry. It was after work, so I figured screw it. Let's just go into Target and see what type of plant-based foods I can find. They don't have a ton of vegan options, but I was able to find a few new things that I thought would be great to try for you guys. So let's get into it. First things that I looked for were beverages and I felt like kombucha. So there were two different ones that I found. We have the Kavita Master Blend Kombucha and this one is a lavender melon and <clears throat> God damn it. And the other one that I found was a French oak apple which I'm not too sure if I'd like, so I figured let's try it. I like the unusual things. The lavender melon one was really, really good. Very surprised at it. I couldn't taste the lavender too much, but I also couldn't taste the watermelon too much. So I think they worked really, really well together when you blend the flavors. And it was just this nice kind of light uplifting type of flavor so i will definitely get that one again it i would say was probably about a nine out of ten and then the other one which i accidentally threw out the bottle because i was rushing to get garbage done last night i'll put that up here is the french oak apple and this one i'm not really sure if i like it or not it's weird i'm going do i like this but i'm gonna drink some more it really kind of grows on you. I would probably give it a seven. It's something that I would get again, but it's got a really deep, unusual flavor because of the oak in there. So it's just something nice for the holidays, uh, fall flavor. Definitely give it a try. The next area that I went, I kept going down the, what do you call it? The fresh area. And I found a couple of things in there. The first one is the Miyoko's Creamery Roadhouse Cheddar. This is a cultured vegan, vegan cheese. And I know there's a lot of people out there that love Miyoko's, but I just, it's got too much of a tang for me with being a Wisconsin girl. I, I am really, I like my cheeses, but like I said, a little too much tang for me. This one wasn't too bad. I've actually eaten half of the container. Yes, Binks, this is not cheese for you. He loves cheese, even if it's vegan cheese. Come on, baby. Down, yeah, thank you. And <clears throat> with this one, I paired it with the Good Thins. They have a garden veggie one, which is a rice, uh, rice cracker, but it also has pumpkin in it. So that really piqued my interest and I've learned to open packages. So the little cracker, it's a nice little square. It comes with a ton of seasoning on it, which is a good thing, but also a bad thing. So, oops, broke the cookie. All right, so it uh, is very creamy comes off pretty good extremely crunchy I don't know if you guys can hear this but together the flavors pair really well I don't notice the tang as much as I did when I was just trying it by itself I would probably give this cheese 6.5 the crackers themselves are highly addictive Even though they're really, really loud. Um, these I would probably give a 9 out of. Um, <clears throat> let's see. They do have sugar in it. So it's something that I won't be buying a lot of just because you guys know that I do try and limit the amount of sugar that I have. But those are really good. I would even suggest, you know, if you are doing a charcuterie, charcuterie board, can I say that twice? Um, <clears throat> that would be a really good addition 
because they're just a really nice uh, snacking cracker on their own. Plus they pair really well with cheeses. The other one that I got was the Good Thins barbecue flavor made with sweet potato. Again, it has sugar in it, right? Yes, it does. And these are slightly different. They come in a little circle and since they're a little thicker, a little noisier. These can be highly addictive because they remind me of the Lay's barbecue. And I miss that. So very, very good flavor on this one. Those I would probably give an 8.5 out of. What do we want to do next? Okay. We'll do the Good and Gather, which you'll see. I have a couple things by their Target brand. This one is a lemon bar. And you get five of them in this. They're similar to a Lara bar, but uh, not too much tinier. They look basically the same. A little drier. Good, similar, but different. I like this one because to me it tastes, instead of more of the lemon juice, it tastes like they also added lemon zest, which I didn't see the difference on the package. It just says lemon juice. and Oh, it has lemon oil in it. That's why I'm tasting like it has more of the zest in it. I would get these again. I would say these are probably about an 8.5 also. And two things left. The first one is the Good and Gather plant-based meat that they have. And I did this two different ways. The first one I made the burgers along with, and I topped it with the Good Planet Foods um, American cheese that I did in my Walmart haul and tasted really, really good. Kind of has a mild Beyond flavor. I'd probably say it's somewhere in between the Beyond and the Light Life. It has a milder flavor. Didn't get me burpy the next day like the Beyond, um, the Beyond Meat does. Although, you know me, I love their Beyond Sausage. It's just something about the meat. It really sticks with you. And even, the, you know, through the night, next morning, you know, I just, I don't like the burpy after effect that I get from it. But the, um, the Good and Gather version, I didn't notice any type of reaction like that the next day. It cooked up really nice. Um, I also did it... Um, a batch of it what I did is I divided it made burgers in the one half and then in the other half I just did it ground so that I could throw it on my salads into tacos and it I liked it I'll get it again mom actually said it is probably her favorite ground meat alternative that she has tried so far with me so that was really good so mom would give it probably a 9.5 I would give it I feel like I'm, I'm a broken record, an 8.5. <laughs> um, but it's definitely good in a pinch and it's one of the cheaper versions of meat alternatives too. So the last thing that I have, I splurged and I got the Endangered Species Almonds Sea Salt Dark Chocolate, 72% cacao. And this is a brand that I really like. Not all of their chocolates are vegan. This one uh, is, since it's one of their darker chocolates, and it doesn't want to break apart. So, there we go. What I like is that 10% of their profits go to save wildlife. So, they are really good with helping support animal and nature causes. And, there we go. 
So the bars break up pretty good. You can see big chunks of the almonds in there. Mm. I love sea salt and chocolate. It just, it tastes so, so good. It's got a nice crack to it. And then you get that bitter of the dark chocolate. And then you get the hints of the sea salt popping through. I've never been disappointed with their chocolates. That I would definitely give a 10 out of 10. We'll get again. And basically, those are all my wonderful little finds. This time when I went to Target, I had probably not the most nutritious dinner that night. But it was a lot of fun trying all of the different items that I got. Wow, that chocolate's going to be dangerous. I'm going to have to hide some of that. Um, <laughs> basically, I would get probably everything again. Maybe not the Miyoko's cheddar, unless I'm just kind of craving something different. But everything else, very, very happy with. Go ahead and try it. If there's anything that you think I should try in Target, please go ahead and leave a comment down below. Don't forget, if you like these food hauls, give this a thumbs up, subscribe, the little notification bell to get notifications of the next video that I do since I'm doing a lot of different types of reviews now. And I really hope everybody enjoyed this and have an amazing day. Yeah.